It's a Sin. It's a Sin is a mini series on HBO, HBO Max. It's a original from them, and it is it is a story about uh, homosexual men in London back in the 80s when the uh, AIDS epidemic was on its rise, and it was just it it was unknown and, and unbelieved and things like that. And it's something that that we nowadays uh see kind of in a reflection of that uh with, with the coronavirus in a way i kind of understand what what's going on people back then didn't really believe that it was really gonna affect them in a way it's it's unbelievable a, a disease that could just kill gay guys from having sex and partying and having fun and stuff like that but then it just Obviously, it became what it became, and it's a situation that, you know, we live in our life right now where people don't believe in whatever, blah, 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 hello, and this is a mini series on HBO about that, and my goodness, I gotta just warn you, if you're gonna watch this, uh, you gotta be alright with just a, a montage of gay sex, just man on man gay sex, it's, I found myself, whoa, wincing and turning away quite a few times and I'm, I'm 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 fine with my sexuality and whatever the hell i have lived in 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 places with gay men and and uh, like we you know roommates and stuff like that whatever you know let's stay at a couple buddies houses who were homosexual i had a big friend group that was a mix of different people and and that was just life for me for a while and it was it was fun it was a good group of people and, it, and that's that's where the show i found myself like oh whoa i know people like this like that who had crazy sex lives like richie from this show and 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 uh, who had complicated family problems like roscoe and and just just, just stuff like that. People like them who it went through some very, very, very similar situations, and I've lived that with them, lived through that with them, and, and and was there for certain parts of it. And it is crazy to see it displayed that well on the show. And and then there's, as I said, there's gay sex, a bunch of gay sex, and you just got to be like. You gotta be all right with that. You just gotta be comfortable with that type of stuff. It's if you've seen Euphoria, you've seen plenty of dicks and shit like that, and they show it to you straight up, right up front. And this is not a large, long show. It's a, a mini series, and then so the characters are just gonna come and go pretty quickly. And Neil Patrick Harris's character, wow, that was a quick one. He was out in the first episode. Spoilers, just to let you know, this show. There's a lot of death, and HBO is good with giving you characters that you're like, hey, I like you. That's nice. Yeah. You're dead. You're gone. Already. Wow. Whoa. And and yes, this is this is a show dealing with the AIDS epidemic and a bunch of and some homosexual men who who don't know what's going on. And they're discovering what's going on and learning about it and things like that, and that's going on throughout the whole series, the show, and uh, it's, it's crazy, the, the, the characters. I feel that Ross, uh, Roscoe was the best character, I feel, out of the entire show. I was just like, I, I was like, oh yeah, this dude, the entire time I was on his side and happy to see him overcome everything and, you know, how it, it ended with him having a, a seeming a better connection in life with his father and family and things like that that was really like the best uplifting one and obviously Richie was kind of one of the main focuses throughout the entire show and he was kind of the one that was just like man you suck wow god and that's how you're supposed to feel towards his character because he was so neglecting in in all of it he didn't care didn't believe whatever it was it it's not true life is gonna go on and simply blah everything and and that, that, that i've seen people who live that way and i've conflicted with them in many ways and uh so to see that character on screen going about his life like that it was, it was frustrating to watch and it was just like ah that character is just terrible i hate him blah but uh very well portrayed um 
very well done. The show just it it really hits heart in your heart if you if you have any sort of connection in some way, shape, or form. With people who've gone through that type of stuff in life. If you have a soul, I think you you feel something in some way, shape, or form. Some of the people that went through this, Jill was one of the main female characters who just did such a great job and it was just crazy to see her go you know from this you know fun girl who just had one of the group of friends and she did she had that and then and then just just being such a sympathetic person she was perfect and it, it was great to see her her way of her life of going through seeing everybody around her crumble and die and things like that and then you know, in her own way, try and figure out a way to try and help people out. And she did. She just did find a way to help people out. And it was really nice to see that character's, like, arc go around. And it, it was nice. It was nice. It was really good. Um, there was some other characters who I was just like, what? Like, um, getting towards the end, um, the, the sister of Richie was just, like, kind of a bitch the entire time. And I was just like, who gives a fuck about this character? But then it just randomly, like, threw me off at the end of the... Near the end, she was just there. It seeming to be, like, this different person than she was the entire sh show. She was a bitch and an asshole. It's only a couple episodes, so it's, like, not a lot of time. She was on the screen, but then all of a sudden when she was there at the end, it was just like, what the fuck does it... Fuck you, <laughs> too. The mom was an asshole, and then she's just... You see that many men went through the same similar situations with their parents and, and not wanting to, to really admit what their sons were doing and, and the way of them coping it was burning their shit in the backyard type of uh, situation. It's really fucked up. Uh, and I know people who went through that type of shit with their families. It's just like just cut off type of stuff. But more, thankfully, more people are being accepted nowadays but either way it was a lot going on in this and there were some funny parts there were some nasty parts there were some really fucked up parts uh so it's just it was a good mix of emotions in the show i found myself laughing crying and, and just just in generally enjoying everything about this this was a good show uh if you're all right with the graphicness of the sexual stuff and and you can deal with like this heartbreaking type of stories then yes i say give this one a go um, it's a sin. Weird title, though. I don't know. That's that's a odd title because it really doesn't feel like it was that much of a religious type of show. But I get the the, the, the whole gay sex thing, sin, man oh man, whatever. But I feel like that's just a really weird title for this show. But either way, it's a sin. HBO Max. If you got it, if you can check it out. If it's on HBO regularly, whatever, watch it out. Check it. Check it out. Try and watch it. Please do. But hey, it doesn't matter. What really matters is that you make sure you have a great day.